This isn't our last stop. We're going to continue these uh, investigations and we're going to continue these undercover operations. Uh, and so uh, they should, all these businesses should be, uh, be aware that uh, if you're a legitimate business, you have absolutely nothing to worry about. If you're not, you certainly do. So they have no intention of, in most of these places, of giving a massage at all. It's, it's all about the in and out and do it quickly so we can make a lot of money. Uh, and you'll see these signs, and, and this is a lot like the marijuana shops. It's a lot like stepping on mercury. You know, you, you close two or three down, and they spread out and go someplace else for, for uh, short periods of time. You have to understand there's an enormous amount of money involved in this, where they can set up shop and they last for six months. The person who is behind this, which is probably somewhat organized crime, makes a lot of money at the expense of uh, these women. That uh, you become desensitized uh, if you live in the environment that, uh, like Oildale, that becomes the norm of what they see every day. And quite frankly, that's not the norm, and we shouldn't stand for that. And, and I think that this is really a, about uh, helping our youth understand that uh, life is, is bigger than that. Um, I was in the Coast Guard. I used to rescue people from human trafficking, so I know exactly what it looks like. I know exactly what's happening. So it's kind of um, a slap in the face to me that I come home and I doing my job and I see this right next door to my business.